Hey guys! Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. So today I am giving you an update mm -hmm. how we are doing. So finally I'm 30 weeks pregnant. Can you believe it? He's big, yeah, he's a big baby. <laughs> um, so I'm 30 weeks pregnant and 10 more weeks to go. Mm -hmm. Every week's been like uh, we've been counting down. Unless he's late, which I was by four weeks. Yes, he was a late baby mm. by four weeks. So he's supposed to be born on 40, uh, 40 weeks, but then he decided to come out on 44 40 weeks. Four weeks. <laughs> Which I hope he will be early because you can already see the size of him. He's mm. he's he's a big, big he's baby a big bump. baby. So when we um did um appointment last um twenty eight weeks, they measured him and they said he is twenty eight centimeter long, mm. and he is two point eight pounds. Mm. So. So they reckon at the moment they think he's going to triple in size before he's born. Yeah, but then yeah. we don't know. No, so we're guessing about nine pounds roughly. Yeah. At this moment, but so we're guessing about nine pounds. If anyone else has got any other guesses, then obviously give us a comment. And let us know what you think. Yeah, um, and tell us. What happens. Yeah, and tell <laughs> us when you had a baby mm. or how. Tell us your experience. Yeah, yeah. your experience from and... thirty weeks to being born. What the extra weight and. All size that, and all that everything that yeah. comes with pregnancy yes <laughs> i yeah. how i'm doing with my pregnancy not really good <laughs> i'll tell you that i am still sick i still have sickness mm -hmm. and my tiny baby has been kicking me really hard and he bruised my ribcage so i have to be hospitalized <laughs> and first when i went to the hospital they you see you see for her, it's bad because he's kicked her in the ribs and they put her in hospital. But for me, as a dad, it makes me feel kind of proud that he's that strong already. <laughs> right, thanks. <laughs> so I was in so much pain uh, last week and I just couldn't, like, couldn't breathe, couldn't talk. I was struggling so much, mm. probably like in the early morning. I had to ring the ambulance. They came mm. and got me. They don't know why the pain is causing this. Oh, my God, is there anything else is going on yeah and they checked the baby's totally fine and they were doing every checks possible scans yeah. and all kind of yeah. stuff and then, then in the night the doctor came to me and she looked at me is your baby active so I was, yeah very, 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 active. very active so kicked a lot so yeah of course all the time on my left uh, <laughs> left side um and then she looked at me and smiled and said well, he bruised your ribcage. <laughs> and she told me that with a smile on her face. <laughs> and I was, at first I thought, are you kidding me? Is that even possible? Yeah. But then, actually, it is. Yeah. And I am getting better, but I still have the pain. Mm. And getting so much uncomfortable. Yeah. Every day goes by. Yeah. Now... And what we've been doing lately is we've been decorating or started to put furniture into his room from when he gets here. So, of course, we spoke about the other video where differences between pregnancies in India, pregnancy in England. And one of the things, of course, is that when he hits about six months old, he'll be put in his own room. So he's got a bit of independence, a bit of his own space or whatever. And we've put cribs, cots, all sorts of stuff. We'll show you that now. And Everything show you the baby what, needs. Some of the equipment he's got. Yeah, and we'll mm. show you the room. Yeah. So this is our little man room. We're gonna do some decoration here, saying this is his room, but it's not ready yet. So and voila, this is his room. I know it's quite it's a tiny room, but then we got quite a lot of stuff going on here. But this is the tape changing table where you can change the nappies and all kind of stuff. So when you change him, you bring that down, pull that here, and you change the baby's diapers. And that's the diaper bin where you keep keep the dirty diapers. And this one for wet wipes, powder, barrier cream, all sort of things for the baby. And I like this because it comes with a nice drop. And it's, for now, it's empty. So yeah, and we got a, like a little lamb in there, 
and this is the lovely cot where he's gone to sleep. So we got everything set up for him. So for six months he'll be sleeping with us um, in a Moses basket. Yeah, in a Moses basket, and then after that he'll be in his bed. So we got all this lovely toys, which is most of them are elephants. So in the future we are planning to do the walls. So it's we have an idea to do the minions, but we don't know we might change it. But so far we like the idea of minions decorating the wall. And that's from Chris's mom and dad. And car seat and what's what's that called? A shade windscreen shade. Yeah, so you got the windscreen shades on the top, you've got the car seat. There and you've got the isofix base underneath which attaches to the car which is more secure. You've then got the baby bouncer which bounces itself and then of course all of that stuff it's is the, the push pram. Chair. It's the push chair, pram, whatever pram, you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, whatever you call it. Yeah. And trust me, I still have no idea how to use them <laughs> but I, I might need to get some to, uh, training before he gets here. <laughs> I mean Nice. Yeah. It's too. It it's, looks it's, in, like... it's in parts at the moment. It will get built back together at some point when he wants to use it. So yeah. Be, when he's born, we'll use it. Literally. So I like this car. We chose it because it comes with the storage as well. So you've got like three. It's all empty. So like three different storages. So we can put more of his clothes. And we have a tiny cupboard here. One cupboard, no cupboards. This is where we're keeping his clothes. So, so far, <laughs> we got all of their clothes um, from gifts from Chris's sister and my sister, my mom and dad, and Chris's mom and dad, and my best friend. Like, a lot of them, like, start getting, giving us quite a lot of stuff. And my favorite is that one. I mean, look at it. <laughs> It's so, it's so fluffy. <laughs> and it's, it smells good too. <laughs> and I bought him that. Yes. I'll tell you, if you're from England, try to do the shopping from Asta because that was from Asta. Mm. We found it in an offer for £7. Yeah. Can you believe it? And then we got more sections here. This is a bigger size. So when he gets older, we, we are not going to run out of clothes and this. <laughs> oh, sure, we need to do shopping. So, yeah, that is the biggest size and, yeah, all kind of cute outfits. Night, night, I don't know what is it called, night pajamas? And, and this is from Chrissy. Um, I mean, look at that. It's a tiny three-piece suit for our little boy. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. I literally love it. So, yeah, I... This being um, knitted yeah. by Nanny, which is Chris's grandma. Her friend helped her and she gave us that. Um, and it comes with two. That one, I have a tiny hat with the pom poms on the top. <laughs> <laughs> and that one, yeah, it looked like big. But he he'll grow into it. <laughs> yeah, he will grow into it. So, actually, that's his room. I'm still that covered, have more space, and we got more basket. So, where well, we can put his shoes on, his all kinds of stuff that we needed. And yeah, that's his room. Once we, once this has been done fully, I will show you the room again before, I think, before Zio gets here. Until then. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.